You can see that one gram of french fry from McDonald's is about 3.24 calories. Remember, a gram weighs about the same size as a cap of a pen. This one single fry is approximately about one gram, meaning it is about 3.24 calories for just that fry. Now imagine eating a whole container of those fries. French fries have about 2.72 calories per gram of french fry which is slightly just a little less per gram than McDonald's. But, think, but thinking about this, next time you consider ordering just a small fry, think about how many calories per gram, such a small unit, you're putting in your mouth. Gross, hey? Many people would never guess, but ordering a medium fry is worse than ordering one cheeseburger. One cheeseburger is 300 calories, where a medium fry is 380 calories. There is about 2.6 calories per gram in a cheeseburger and 2.2 or 3.24 calories per gram in a medium fry. I would never have guessed myself. You would think a cheeseburger would be worse for you because it is actually the main part of a meal, not just the side. You would have to walk seven hours straight to burn off a Big Mac, Coke, and a fry. Seven hours straight without stopping, that is. Imagine that. It's not so hard to believe considering the United States food industry spends more than $33 billion a year to advertise products that are mostly loaded with fats, sugars, and salts. This would help explain why obesity plays a huge role in society today. Approximately 60% of the adult population in the U.S. is obese or overweight. As college students, gaining weight is common as it is frequent for the first year students to gain the freshman 15. These are all things you may have heard before, but the truth behind all these facts remains hidden from most of the public. Here are some things that people gen generally do not know. In the 1950s, a, a typical soft drink at a fast food restaurant was only 8 ounces. In today's fast food restaurants, a child order for a soft drink is, at McDonald's is 12 ounces, and a large Coke is 32 ounces. It kind of makes you wonder why we have so many health problems, doesn't it? Take fries, for example. Fries contain a chemical substance called acryl, which is produced when starch-rich foods are baked, fried, grilled, or microwaved at very high temperatures. It is cancerous, which means can't, it can cause tumors and cancer. Can you see how something can taste and look so good on the outside, but actually be horrible for you in reality? Same thing goes for the meat we eat at fast food places like hamburger or chicken nuggets. Have you ever wondered how they are made? The truth is that the meat we consume at fast food restaurants comes from animals such as cows and chickens, which have been raised not off of farms, but in factories surviving off inhumane conditions as workers try to mass produce as much and as quick as possible. Not only that, but their diet doesn't consist of grass, which they are naturally, 
which they are genetically meant to be eating, but off of corn, which makes the animals get fatter at a much quicker rate. Unfortunately, even if people knew this, it wouldn't stop them from eating their beloved fast food restaurants. So it is important to, that the public is at least aware of the unhealthiest and healthiest meals at the places you may go. At McDonald's, avoid the triple thick chocolate shake. If you do go there, choose a hamburger or a grilled ranch snack wrap, as although they are not healthy, they are the better options offered. A helpful hint may be the 400, 100 cal 400 calorie per serving rule. This indicates that 40 calories per serving is low, 100 calories per serving is moderate, and 400 calories per serving is too much. Stay away from saturated fat and sodium especially. This is where fast food places will get you, as most places douse their food in grease and salt. Here's a chart of the recommended daily nutritional values, which is based off a 2,000 calorie diet. Even though we are surrounded by several fast food restaurants as college students, Try to pass up going to any. In fact, one in four, in four Americans eat fast food every day. After getting a closer view on the calories per gram of french fries, it can be seen that the fast food industry does truly encourage obesity in a way. Now hopefully you will choose to pass up fast food and begin to maintain a healthy lifestyle.